So let's go to the front view and let's add a little neural detail here. So we're going to do box. Let's do it from let's do it from the center. And let's use our option key to snap to the center and then let's like let's drag a little neural out here and I'm just going to right click to complete cuz I'm going to mess with this. All right, so this is huge, but I'm going to use Gumball and just position it, something like that, and then I'm going to scale it dramatically because I want it to fit in there, but I don't want it to be so big, so I'm going to scale it some more, and I'm going to move it, and then I'm going to scale it some more, and move it up so that it fits kind of comfortably. I'm going to use this little 2D icon to get it. Uh, I feel pretty good about it being right there. All right. So that's the little piece that we're going to use for our neural. Maybe it's a little wide. So let's invert and hide to get rid of everything but this. So let's fill up this thing just very quickly. And we're going to use something small like 0.02. And I'm just going to drag select the entire thing, run it, so that we've got a soft little part here, right? I'm going to show everything. And I'm going to position this. It's a little high, so I'm going to just bump it down a little bit, something like that. So see how that's kind of fitting in there? And let's just check and make sure it's not poking through, and it's not. So let's go, from the, let's go to the top view. And let's make a bunch of copies of this thing. So we're going to go to Transform, Array, Polar. Now the center of our polar array, since we built this around the origin, is what? Zero, right? It's the origin. So we're just going to hit zero, enter. And the number of items. I'm probably going to need, I don't know, let's say 22. And I want it to go all the way around. And look, here's 22. Well, 22 is not enough, so I'm going to do 40. Uh, 40 is too much, so I'm going to do, I don't know, 26. That feels better, so I'm going to just say, okay, done. Now, if I go back to my perspective view, you can see what we've done here. So we put our little neurals around there. And just like we did with the wireframe piece, I'm going to select this entire object and just do a Boolean union. going to think for a second and done. Go to wireframe, you'll notice that it has merged and trimmed in all these little bits. So this is all now one piece. So let's bring our bottle back and take a look. So with very little effort, right, nothing we did here was hard. Nothing we did here was complicated. We've just used some simple tools to create this little object, assign some colors to it. We can hide our image now because we don't need it anymore. And created something that's ready to go to print. We know the bottle's going to fit the top. The top's going to snap onto the, to the bottle. We've got wall thickness so we could actually prototype it and check its volume and use that information for costing and all that kind of stuff. In fact, if you wanted to cost it, you could actually come in here and do your do your volume. You could see how much plastic this thing takes so that you could plug in a material weight and actually give that to a costing engineer in, in a manufacturing facility and find out exactly how much this bottle is going to cost you to make. All sorts of stuff like that with some really pretty simple tools. Nothing really terribly complicated about that. And it all starts from setting up your image, right? your reference material, setting your scale, using a little bit of history and some design skill. And we've got this pretty nice little object. So that pretty much concludes what I have to show for you today.